day three. I am happy to report that I've survived the third day of Humans vs. Zombies, although um, today was by far the scariest day so far. Um, and I found out today that the game does not go until next Tuesday, it goes until next Friday. So I have a lot longer to survive than I thought. Well, only, you know, three more days. But three days can mean life and death, people, okay? <laughs> no, um, it was a good day. It was pretty easy. I had a couple scary moments, but no one actually came after me, so that was good. Although we did lose a lot more people. We have 28 remaining humans. Um, so it's been a rough day for a lot of people. <laughs> but, um... I'm trying to think what exactly happened. So this morning was smooth, and then um, I did get to the library safely for my first shift. And then um, as I was leaving, I clocked out at 1.45 to get to my 1.50 class in the admin building. So I walk out of the double doors in the library, and I see Braxton, like, squoosh up against the wall, the brick, on the outside doors of the library. And so I was like, <gasps> And I don't think he saw me, and I don't even think he was over there looking for me, but um, I was like, I don't know what to do. And of course, Dr. Jones is like right there, and she was like, probably thinking I was a whole fool. But um, Braxton ended up seeing two humans that were walking by on the sidewalk, and so he went after them, and I like booked it to my car out the other way. I jumped in my car, went and parked in front of the science building, jumped out, ran into the admin building with my gun, and I went up the stairs and Abby was like laughing at me when I came in and then I walk up and go to my classroom and it's only it's the teacher and two other people in that class it's a missions class and uh Mr. Torson and John and Ashley are all waiting for me and they were like we watched you out the window <laughs> well I'm scared then um after that at three I jumped in my car um drove to the back of the barber center and me and Deanna, she was waiting in her car. She'd been literally in her car for like three and a half hours. Um, me and her got our guns out and we went into practice. Um, practice is kind of tricky because it's in the it's on the first floor of the Barber Center. Um, and organized practices are safe, but the auditorium itself is not safe. So I don't really know. We haven't had any close calls, but I mean, I'm assuming, you know, as soon as practice is over or before it starts, that's fair game. So I sort of kept my gun at the ready and... Then uh, come the end of practice, we all darted back out. Me and, and her and Kevin, we all ran to our cars. Um, and then I went back to work, got back in my car, and now I'm here. So I am in for the night. I have survived. Um, really nothing too exciting to report. Um, tomorrow, I don't think will be too hairy. I only have one class and then work. Oh, and I do have rehearsal. But I, I really don't think that it's going to be too big of a deal. Um, the bigger problems are probably going to be next Monday, next Tuesday, and next Thursday. So if I can survive those days, I should be good to go. But day three.